Bramble was a little apprehensive when it came to coming into the grooming room today, so I just took that extra few minutes just to sit with her to settle her nerves because I wanted her to know that this was going to be a safe and enjoyable experience. As you might have guessed, she is a Border Terrier and with Border Terriers, we hand strip them because we want to keep that nice, coarse, wiry coat. And if we were to clip them, it would completely change its texture. So a hand strip is the way to go forward. This does not hurt the dog. It's just pulling out dead coat, which would fall out naturally anyway. We're just speeding up that process. A little bit of chalk and a dirty coat helps create that friction so the coat comes out nicely rather than tugging against the skin. When it comes to hand stripping, some groomers will not bath the dog because technically you don't necessarily need to. However, I like to because it gets the dog smelling nice and fresh for their owners. But when it comes to bathing them, what I do is I only use some nice natural light shampoo. No conditioner because this has an effect of making that coat extra greasy. But first, I've got to get rid of that dead coat because otherwise it's not going to come out afterwards. You can even strip the ears. If it wasn't coming out naturally, what I would suggest is brushing that coat up and using your blending scissors to keep that natural look, but to avoid tugging on the ears, which could hurt her. The Border Terrier originates on the borders, believe it or not, of Northumberland and Scotland. So that is where it gets its name, the Border Terrier. They're known to be very game and good vermin catchers. However, these days, they make perfect family pets. If anyone asks me, what sort of dog shall I get? I always think of a Border Terrier. They're just so nice. They're beautiful. They're just, oh, I mean, I really, really like them. As you can see, those early nerves have been put to bed and Bramble is taking this all within her stride. She is behaving so well letting everything happen and to be honest i couldn't be more chuffed with her for her first trip with me trimming those nails one two three four probably five six seven eight yeah that's right i can count to eight that leads me on to getting those toes looking nice and fine we go for that tight look on her because that's like that sort of sporting pedigree you want from your border terrier even though she might be on a little bit of a chubby side I tidied up that face because what we want from your Border Terrier is to have an otter-like face. Now, before we see how she turned out, if you haven't already, please give us a like, please give us a comment and please subscribe to the channel because it really would mean the world. But here we are, doing those final flourishes to get her looking beautiful and, I mean, super cute, isn't she? I honestly can't believe how well behaved she was for her first visit with me. Looking cute, so is she and... I've just had a lovely day with her. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Look how much hair came out. Oh my God. But anyway, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And at the end, we just gave her a little bit of love to let her know we always end with a little bit of fun.